First thing I need to do, I want to put this handle back on. It's got a spring-loaded keeper on here, and it's a pretty tight fit. So I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to put this in the vise and probably warm up this plastic a little bit and then uh, tap it on. So here's our plunger and uh, handle assembly. So I've already got everything oiled up, but our plunger, well, there's a spring. Our plunger goes like this. And then we've got the barrel and a, uh, and a pin that goes through here. And let's see, this is going to take maybe four sets of hands to do this. <laughs> So what I like to do is take your punch and use it as a guide. Let's see if we can find it here. There we go. Okay, just check that it's working. Okay. All right, and then uh, Just leave your uh, punch in there as a guide and then just, well, <laughs> if you don't knock the pin out. Just let the pin push your uh, punch out. Okay, we're far enough in there now. Okay. Feels the same on both sides. Let's make sure it's working. Okay, disengaged. There's a holder position there. And re engage. That's a really close fit, and uh, it's actually having a little bit of piston effect. Okay, I like it. I'll tell you what, guys, this thing is getting heavy. <laughs> we need to put our sector arms on first. Okay, let's do that. Okay, there's our sector arms. I'm put a little bit of uh, rem oil. Just enough so we don't get any rust. We've got our little lock screw and washer. I don't think that's the original washer, but... I think it'll be okay. I had to clean this screw up. It was pretty chowdered up. Okay, there's our sector arms. And then we got this little spring guy. And you know what? I think that screw is supposed to be exposed. That would make sense. There we go. Okay. Oops, feels pretty good. Now we can put this on. <laughs> All right, now we got our direct indexing ring. And let's find out where our key is right there.
Just making sure everything is seating evenly. Okay, disengage the worm. There's our hole number one right there. Okay, I like it. Time to try our uh, faceplate. Actually, it's not a faceplate, it's a uh, dog drive plate. Just trying to make everything, you know, somewhat line up to something. Straight across. Okay, I like it. This is the fun part, getting these nuts in here. Okay, look at that. I'm sure you guys can see. There's our direct indexing plate. Or ring, I guess you call it. Or worm engagement. Free wheel. All right, we're just about there. Um, I got to clean up these. Uh, emblems a little bit knock these uh, drive screws out I got some new ones we can put in there so I'll bring you back when I'm ready to put those on but basically we're uh, we're done we still have the uh, <laughs> the six jaw we haven't done anything with this yet that'll be the uh, the last part of this series we'll do that all that in one video um, I'm going to try to get these labels on as part of the end of part four. Um, if, uh, if you don't see me come back and put them on, you know I had a problem. And then we'll do them in the next part. But uh, anyways, that's the plan. Okay, we're handheld. Alright, um, we got our, our emblems labels back on. It was pretty fiddly, so I didn't film any of that. We ended up having to reuse the rivets, the drive screws. Uh, there's size one. I've got size zero, size two, and size four, but no ones. Uh, but uh, I think it'll be fine. Had to make one over here out of a uh, larger rivet. That was pretty fiddly. And then I had it almost done <laughs> and I was just doing the final tweaking on the belt sander and it got away from me and went flying across the room and believe it or not I was able to find it <laughs> got really lucky so anyways we're going to call this a wrap um, for part four 
Uh, we've still got the, um, the six jaw chuck to clean up. And that'll be part five, which will be the, uh, hopefully the final part of this series. Okay, guys, thanks for sticking with it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.